That's right. Oh, yeah. We, we jumped in with both feet and didn't have a clue what we were doing. <laughs> we were only given 10 years to survive because other organizations looked at us and said, they're all women, they'll be at each other's throat eventually, and if they last 10 years, that'll be a miracle. I think I was chosen because my husband was a farmer. <laughs> Porky said, we ought to have a state organization. One organization can't do it. So we decided we would have it in January of 1976 and at the time we thought how can we put together a convention in three or four months but uh, Corky said you put the convention together I'll get the women there uh, to this day I don't know how she did it it was amazing how fast we exploded uh, I've never seen a club you would say uh, multiply so quickly uh, about 60, 60 or 70 women from all over the state came. Uh, most of them came out of curiosity. Uh, some of them wondered what side we were on, but it was a very interesting situation. But I think most of them were relieved when they found out that we were working for the farmers. We, we just had a lot of farmers that uh, would help us and say, if you go up, you know, tell them this, and they were, at that time, having a lot of troubles with the unions. At the time, there were several bills that were coming up in Sacramento, and they were uh, very uh, pro-union and very against the farmers. Yeah, I think we filled the void that the farmers faced in that they never left the field to go up in Sacramento and fight their fight, you know. It just was never done. And I feel like we had opened the door for them. The farmers or legislators were calling us. And so we had to react. Sometimes we didn't really know a whole lot what we were reacting to. <laughs> we reacted and then we learned about it. You know, I hate to use the word, but this California Woman for Agriculture, I think kind of became a sisterhood. It became a very close-knit group of people who have maintained their friendship even after their many years of, of being a, a CWM member. But the loyalty and the commitment was tremendous. Everything we started is bigger now. Uh, we had Ag in the classroom. We had one class that did it in Palm Desert. Now they must have a good 15 or 20. Um, we had one scholarship, now they have 20. Uh, so it's just the growth. More money being given to each individual and more individuals at the same time receiving them. I think that's been a blessing to many children and to their families too. Well, I think ultimately the best thing about this whole movement was that it's continued for 40 years. We worked real hard and we did a lot of scary things, but we had a lot of fun and we cemented a lot of friends.